Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is lesson number two um, of many lessons. Um, if you remember, if you watched lesson number one, we talked about how to find the notes. So we talked about going left hand side of the two black notes to find C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The subject for today is hand and finger position. It might seem like a not very important subject, but it's actually really important so that you can play with ease and with the correct technique and get a good sound when you're playing. Um, there are people that are very good pianists that play with very bad technique, but as a teacher, I'm here to teach you what's the best technique, the most common taught technique, which can achieve a better result. So, without further ado, the general position of your hand is you want to be not too closed and not too large. We're going to start with our two thumbs placed on the middle C and then one finger on every note around them just to start off with. This is your sort of basic position, I call it the um, pianist position when I teach in French. Um, obviously you're going to move around afterwards when you get more advanced, but just to start off with is hands in a position like an eagle, like there, so that you can play on the tips of your fingers. And the idea is when you play on the tips of your fingers, there are more nerve receptors on the ends, so you can feel and get the hands playing simultaneously at the same time without having separations. So playing on the tips of your fingers, your fingers arched like this, so you're above the notes. And we're also going to be playing, so obviously you can't have, sorry, two long nails because you're going to be hitting, I've got a little bit too long nails at the moment, but they shouldn't be too long so that you're not clicketing around the keyboard. Uh, also, we generally give numbers to the fingers, which is what you will see on the sheet music when there are numbers, which is the numbers of the fingers. So we'll go one to five. I'll show you a little picture of that now. And what we have is generally the right hand, which will play the right hand side of the notes and the left hand will play more the notes towards the left. Okay. So from middle of C upwards, we use our right hand and from middle of C downwards, we use the left hand. On the written music, which we'll be studying later, you'll see a symbol called the treble clef and a symbol called the bass clef. For the moment, all you need to know is that the treble clef will be from this note will be what I'll be playing with the right hand generally and what's written on the bass clef will be played with the left hand. I'll show you a small picture of what I mean now. That's what I want you to retain for today. Hand position, slightly curved fingers above the notes, playing as much as possible on the tips of your fingers. Your right hand will be playing on the right hand of the keyboard and your left hand on the left hand, generally speaking, and that will be represented on sheet music with treble clef on the right hand and a bass clef on the left hand. Um, next lesson we're going to start looking at a little bit of written music. So that brings me nicely onto that. So now you know where the notes are from C to C and you know how to place the fingers on the keyboard. Um, I hope you, uh, that's useful for you and I'll look forward to the next lesson which will begin to start looking at written sheet music. Thank you very much and have a great day.